Hello. What's up? So, I just got to the airport here in Billings and I realized I forgot my charger for my GH4 batteries, which is really unfortunate. I've got like maybe three or four charged batteries, but that's not gonna be enough for a two week trip. <laughs> so we're off to Denver right now. We're about, we're in, the, we're in the TSA line. We just got checked in for a trip to Ecuador. Woo. So we're all excited, having a lot of fun here. We're gonna have to try to find a GH4 battery charger in Denver, which may or may not be difficult. So anyway, just wanted to get this Ecuador vlog started. Anything, Dad? <laughs> See your shoes, babe. So I got these Obos shoes. Obos made in Bozeman. They're made in Bozeman, Montana. Well, they're designed in Bozeman. They're made somewhere else. Oh, okay. For every pair that people buy, they plant a tree. Hippie. They're like a hug for your feet. I've been wearing them the past two. They're years. comfortable. They seriously feel like they were almost made for me. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. Very so cool. They're like a nice hug for your feet, and they're super light. So. <laughs> We made it on the flight. So yeah, we made it on the flight. Good news is I called a camera store in Denver, reserved a battery charger for my GH4 battery. It closes at five though. We land in Denver at four, so we're gonna have to book it. I think we can make it though. That's the update. By the way, we, we were boarding group two priority boarding. Did you like that? I did. It felt special. Did you? Yeah, I, was, I found someone I knew though, so I was just chatting away. That's cool. <laughs> They were like probably boarding group four or five. Right. Cool. So that's it. Off we go. So back and enjoy the flight. Hello there. We made it to Denver. It's freezing out here. Denver in December. We are packed for the equator. Yeah, we're packed for the <laughs> tropics. What hotel are you guys going to? That's West We're waiting for the shuttle. Because we like things shuttle. that are free and cheap. Uh, yeah. I overheard someone shuttle. else was going to the shuttle, so we followed them. <laughs> I'm astute like that. <laughs> nice. That's good. Good job, babe. Apparently, somebody will come and and ask us what hotel, and then when we say Best Western, they'll be like, "Oh, yep, yeah, right here." Also, I can read, so um, I'll read the buses. <laughs> good. <laughs> anyway, it's like 4:15, 4:30 a.m. We're back at Denver Airport. Last night we went, got checked into our hotel, Best Western. Went out to eat, saw some uh, sugar and tangerines, family. It was so great. It was good, right? It was so awesome, thank you. Went to bed and then woke up at like 3.30 or 3. And now we're here, going to Houston. I'm a little bit rummy. I could hear the coffee machine from a mile away. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like so quiet in this airport this early. It is. We've got coffee, so we're good. Here we are, backpacking through <laughs> urban Houston. And we are on a place where most people don't walk, so we're on some grass looking for a taxi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like the TSA is going to come running and like tackle us any second. This is extreme backpacking in yeah. downtown Houston. It's like 8.30 a.m. We yes. just got to Houston. 8.30 a.m. and we are Sugar and tangerine. Sugar and tangerine was on like a mission to get outside. Yeah. So we ended up like going, going through the like a random and, side door. Yeah. Um, Antonio I, had to let us out. Antonio let us out. With direction from his supervisor. Yeah. Yes, it's a bureaucracy here. <laughs> and now we are wandering, I mean trekking on a mission. We're gonna find a battery charger today. I'm a man on a if mission. This is the last thing we do. It is, We're yeah. gonna find a charger. I figure we'll go uptown Houston, maybe get some food. Our flight doesn't leave tonight until what, five or something? Six? We have pretty much all day to be here in Houston. 5.40 p.m. Oh, it's boarding, okay. Yeah. So we got, we'll be back here about four or five. Yes. We'll be good. It's the day in Houston. Yeah. A lot of a lot of backpackers find Houston to be um, a nice destination. <laughs> really? you, yeah, you just find some green space and off you go. Cool. Yeah. Here's the arrivals. I assume there should be taxis or we can order a lift up here. We'll keep you posted. Okay, so that right there is a Houston camera exchange. $35 lift drive away from the airport. And about a half hour drive. But the good and news is across the street is a 
Lebanese restaurant. Oh yeah, and your favorite food is Lebanese. It is. So we lucked out on that. Yeah. But it's about 9, 30, 10. Um, We're gonna hang out at a coffee shop. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do that. But so Google said Houston Camera Exchange was open at noon today. And so then we get here and there's a big sign out front that says closed Sundays. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I looked on their website and it says, yep, closed Sundays. So then I called them and their voicemail was going and it says, and now through the holiday season, open on Sundays. <laughs> so everything's working out just peachy, other than the fact that I'm tired because I had to wake up at 3.30. It's been a, a long day and it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. It's like 9.30 and it's a long day already. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna chill, read Lebanese food at 11, get the camera exchange at noon, get my battery charger back to the Houston airport and then on to Ecuador. Yeah, that does sound real. So there's somebody singing opera back here, huh? Yeah. Where are we? We're behind the camera shop, the camera exchange. Yep, that's the Houston camera exchange. So we've been backpacking through urban Houston and we found a Mick Cafe and now we found a nice park bench. Uh, somebody's practicing their opera, starving opera singer, probably going to sing at the Metropolitan <laughs> whatever yep. opera hall tonight. The Houston Camera Exchange opens in an hour so we're going to chill here for an hour. But I was looking on their website and it says uh, they have a special event today at noon which is a Panasonic, a Panasonic like special event, which is the camp exactly I have. Exactly what you need. Yeah, I'm st I still am not 100% that they have the charger I need, but if they're having a special Panasonic event, I would think that they would. Or they might just have used micro thirds lenses, which I'm also stoked about, so that's what we're doing. Check out this cactus. Anyway, I was gonna give you the update. The Houston Camera Exchange had a Panasonic GH4 battery charger in stock for 20 bucks. I picked it up. We're good on battery. I can start using the GH4 as much as I want now. So we're back to the airport right now. What's up? Hi. Uh, we're getting some lunch here. Chibata cheese. Some kind of Mediterranean salad. Very good. Cool. Where are we? Oh, we are um, getting ready to leave. The Houston International Airport on our last leg of our journey to Ecuador. We're in the United Club on oh, yeah. in, in Terminal E. Right. And I'm time lapsing right here. You are? Me. Since battery is not an op a, a limitation anymore, we're time lapsing, so enjoy this time lapse. It is 4.30. We've legitimately walked over four miles today. We've walked up and down this airport like 10 times looking for a book for sugar and tangerines. And I decided on this trashy book. <laughs> After walking miles. It was your second choice though. It was my second choice. So we're both super tired. We've been up since like three. Yeah. And we got a five or six hour flight to Quito. I did book us a hotel for in Taba Vela, El, Par Postel, El Parque in Taba Vela, something like that. They're apparently picking us up at Quito at about 12.30, 1 a.m. We're gonna go there. They might I think when we get there, Lecture Fan is gonna have his name on the sign. <laughs> yeah, they might have my name on the sign holding it as we walk up. I hope it's my name. It's not. Why didn't you tell them? But plan to sleep in tomorrow, then going to Quito. Maybe book a jungle lodge, see what the deals are, you know what, how it is, and then maybe catch a bus a couple hours outside the city, find another place to stay. Made it to Quito. Made it to Ecuador. We've been traveling for like what, 20, like 23 hours now. Uh, yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Well, not really with the time change. Like maybe like 20 hours. Yeah. Now we have to go through immigration and customs. Oh yeah. And then maybe, <laughs> maybe find a guy holding up a lecture fan sign. The flights arriving are from Fort Lauderdale, Mexico, San Salvador, Lima, Houston, Bogota. So out of six flights that just arrived, there's two from the U.S. 
All right, made it through immigration, stamped the passport, did not give us any deadline to leave, but who knows. This must be customs right here. Yep. No checked bag, no big deal. All right, looking for a sign. Is it actually my, my name? So I was just commenting on how this is actually a really nice airport. Oh, go. All right, let's go. I'll take a picture of you. Okay, we made it. We just checked into Hostel El Parque here in Tababela. This is our room. We paid 33 in cash. We paid $8 in cash from the airport to get here. They gave us three controllers. And this is our room. <laughs> Oh, there's like another bed in here? Yeah. Why? Is there a bathroom? Is there toilet paper in here? See? Oh, there is? What's up, folks? Monday morning, we're here in Paso El Parque, Tapa Bela, near the Quito Airport. Pretty cool. It's good to finally be here. It's 9 o'clock. Our breakfast is supposed to be at 9. Sugar and Tangerines are still sleeping, but I'm up. I'm gonna go over here and see if they maybe have coffee or see if they can make breakfast wait at an hour or so. So that's what we're doing, but this place is kind of cool. Lots of green plants everywhere. They have roofs everywhere apparently because they're probably used to it raining. Look who, look who finally woke up. Sleeping Beauty has arrived. Sugar and Tangerine sugar and sugar and finally woke up. We came out and we have breakfast served. Some really yummy looking cheese. Fresh fruit. I knew we were going to have bananas. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. Eggs. Eggs, coffee. The whole nine yards. surprisingly really? American good. Really good. Nice. I don't think it is, but it's good. <laughs> Bunch of pics on the wall. All right, so it's about 10.30, no, 11. I think it's 11. Yeah, it's quarter to 11. Quarter to 11. We just got out of the park hostel in Tampa Vela. We're headed into Quito, going to Mars Scal, which is apparently where a bunch of tourist operators are. Stuff like that. Gonna try to get a jungle log and go to the and see what happens. Those clouds on the mountain are awesome. And the mountains just keep going up over back there. right across the street from us called EOS Ecuador, so we're gonna go check that place out. Okay, so we just went to this place called EOS Ecuador, which is a travel agency, and we booked a four-day, three-night stay in the Amazon jungle at a 
place called Mamga Bagra or something. I'll pull the thing out and say it again. But it's in uh, Yasuni, yeah. which is like the Amazon jungle, and there's like little like huts made out of plants that we're gonna be staying in. And it's an ecological preserve. They're self-sustaining, and so. Um, it's going to be really authentic. Yeah, it's supposed to be super authentic Amazon jungle today. So, super excited about that. It cost over $1,000 for the two of us. But, it'll be worth it. And so now we have to go to Kitumbe bus terminal here in Quito and get a bus. It's like an eight hour bus ride to Coca. And then our tour, the, our guy is going to come pick us up at our hotel in Coca tomorrow at 7 a.m. If we miss our 2.30 bus because sugar and tangerines had to get a cappuccino, then we'll have to take the 11 p.m. bus. Which and she recommended anyway is shorter. Yeah, but then we get in at 5 a.m. and have to wait for Yeah, like you're supposed hours. to sleep on the bus. Like that's comfortable. Like anything's been comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's the other day. I'm super, yeah, I'm super excited. excited. I'm excited. We're going to the jungle. We're going to the jungle today. Today. <laughs> How is it? Okay. Is it? All right, we just about missed our bus, but I don't think we're going to. This is it. We're going to Coca. We just about missed the bus because we had to stop and get a cappuccino. But now Sugar and Tangerines is picking up some food for the ride, and I think we're going to make it. This is the bus station. This is Quitumbe. Got some food? Okay, so we made it on the bus. You for, got some stuff. For four U.S. dollars and 50 cents, I got these pony giddy-up drinks. <laughs> nice. Some yummy cinnamon crackers. They taste kind of like animal crackers. And I love lemon wafers. Oh nice. Yes. All for four fifty. Four four dollars fifty cents. Are you ready to get it up with this pony? I'm gonna try it, yeah, can you record me? Yeah. 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 Is it better? It's not good. I wanna try it. I bet it. <coughs> I mean, I could drink it. Uh -huh. It's kind of got a cola taste. There's something else going on. It, it's a bitter, I think. They have some drinks kind of like this. They based on Pellegrino. So I'm going to see if it's like a bitter. Yeah, like kind of tastes like malt. I guess it, it does is. say Malta. Yeah. It's got that real malty taste. It is. It is. It's, yeah, it's, it's okay, yeah. And this guy up here is trying to sell us all of these like pills. Ortega pills. Ortega pills that, that apparently cures all. What'd you just get? I just got this lovely one dollar mango treat and it has salt and lime and I'm gonna Nice. Really enjoy this. <laughs> cool. Goodbye. How much yeah. was that? One dollar. Nice. I love fresh fruit like that. We'll get you eating it and then reviewing it. How it was is so it? tasty. So it's like fine fresh mango. Unlike the U.S. where they're hard. <laughs> they got ripe in the box. So. When I squeeze some lime on it, and we've got this little thing of salt. It's, it's good. This is a really tasty treat. Nice. Awesome. What'd you get this time? I have no idea. It's some kind of frozen food thing. How is it? It's not like anything I've ever had before. Really? You like it? Yeah. How much did it cost? A dollar. Nice. Everything good. There's mine. So they just we just stopped here to go to the bathroom and so all of the guys just lined up right here. This totally feels like the rainforest out here, doesn't it? feels totally different than keto already. Yeah, it's like a super humid mountain. Super humid mountain. I've never really been in it. Now. It's like much warmer than keto. That's where our carne out of This is our this is our bus stop at 7 p.m. halfway through the eight hour trip. So this is where we're at, 7 p.m. at night. There's our bus. We're getting food. Here's the food. Actually looks really, really good. 
I polished it off. I thought it was delicious. What, did you, what are you thinking? This is the best fries I've ever had in my life. <laughs> right? The meat was like... Out of this world. Yeah. $4.50. $4.50, yep. And this delicious um, apple green tea. Dollar. We've been moving for 12 hours. We're on our taxi to the hotel. Made it to Coca on our taxi to the hotel. There's so many people in what? This country is blowing my mind. Oh. There's so many people, and from the street, everything just looks like. It's kind of hidden, and then all of a sudden there's like a nice hotel. Right. You never even guess it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is our place. 30 bucks for this. This is $30? Yeah. Wow. Well, a nice little silhouette on the shower. Yeah. <laughs> 7.30 a.m. What is today, Monday? Tuesday, Tuesday, December 4th. Our guy is supposed to be picking, picking, picking us up at like 7.30. Here's our view out onto the street from our hotel. There's like a little fruit stand over there. Hotel Imperial. So we're going to head down into the lobby and see if anybody's here. We are at a place called Milk and Coffee. And our guy from Landari Pagan here. His name is Freddy. We're going to leave in about five minutes. This is the beginning of our Amazon tour. Somebody already, our guide already told us, welcome to the Amazon. Um, we're here in Coca, Ecuador. This is the beginning of our Amazon tour and we're getting breakfast here at, I don't know, someplace. Got your water. There's the kitchen over there. There's our guide. Yeah, so we were just talking about how right over there you can kind of see a boat and there's this big bridge right here, but that's the Rio Napo. And the Rio Napo is one of the largest tributaries of the Amazon River. And it starts in Cotopaxi. And it's kind of brownish water right now because it's got a lot of nutrients in it coming down from Cotopaxi and into the Amazon River. So. So if you spit on the ground right now, it ends up in the Amazon River. <laughs> Wonder what this oh, it is. Might it might be what? Oh really? Is it? Dig, dig in, babe. How is it? Is that good bread? Yeah, it might be the best jelly I've ever had. <laughs> nice. Are you to eat your dessert kind of first, gal? Oh yeah. You I are. I got this delicious coffee that Lecture tried to talk me out of because it would <laughs> A, take longer, and B, included milk. <laughs> but I have a passion for unpasteurized milk, so I'm going for it. Okay, how is it? So good. Is it? Oh, yeah. Did you put sugar in it yet? We're not even going to. Really? Nice. Milk and coffee is such a good combination. The fat and coffee ratio is just perfect. Wow. That's quite the review. Nice. Yeah, this is, this is better than any latte I've ever had. It's just coffee with milk. Real nice. Milk. All right, so we got some yucca. I call it yucca. But yucca and some eggs. Looks good, right? Oh my gosh, these eggs are terrific. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so you, you dry it, and then you boil it, and then you cool it. So this is called Wayusa. And then those up there, those are the dried leaves for Wayusa. It's an Amazon energy drink. So this is your first ever papaya? Yeah, I think it's going to be better than the first time I ate a kumquat. <laughs> <laughs> I like melting your mouth. That's it? Everything is so fresh and tasty. Like, I think just the flavors alone. Come in here, it's special. Cool. Bananas. Bananas at every meal. 
and we are off. Here is Rio Napo. Alright, we made it to the gravel road. We're still we've been passing through tons of oil development though, it's crazy. We're like in the Amazon rainforest and there's like oil pipelines and oil rigs and shit all around, it's crazy. But I've been getting some slow motion video of this drive too. Hope you enjoy that. I know I will. We're in the Amazon, baby. We are in the Amazon. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me thanks I never needed gifts or diamond rings All I ever need, I need, I All I ever need is here We made it to Parque Nacional Yasuni. We're here. We're going on a canoe ride in the jungle in the Amazon River. Heck yeah, there's a river down there. We're on a boat in the Amazon. Oh wow, yeah. Butterfly. Ooh, butterfly, what name? Blue uh, morpho. Morpho? Morpho videos. Oh no, got three different species like this. Three different blue ones? Yeah. Butterflies and birds everywhere. What's the name of this river? Tiputini. Tiputini? Tiputini. We're on the Tiputini River. Yeah. It sounds the same to me. Tini or Titi? Tini. Tiputini. We have a center of the Mandari Panga community. Oh, even uh -huh. there. Yeah. Oh, that's where the community is that runs the. Yeah. Where we're going? Yeah. Cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> right. So up there is where the people live where we're going. We run the community or we run the spot where we're going.
it on the tonga. We can read in a hammock. Oh yeah, we do have hammocks. So that sounds gonna be lunch ready. Call? Okay. Yeah. We'll drop our bags maybe. This is where we're staying. Oh wow, look at that. Very clever idea. I'm glad that you encouraged me to go on an adventure. Cool. Mm -hmm. So be relaxed. It sounds like this can be as relaxing as we want it to be too. Yeah. Like if we just want to relax, we can. So here's the bathroom. Little sink and then a couple of showers. Actually pretty nice. And we're, they just rang the bell for lunch, so we're about to go have lunch. And they said this, this whole place is about one year, max two years old. So we're like the first, sort of, in the grand scheme of things, the first, some of the first people here because it's only been operating for less than two years, which is kind of cool. Mandar Panga, I think it's called. It'd be nice to take a cold shower. It's, it's definitely warm around here. And there's where we're staying tonight. What do you think? I've got my camera down there time lapsing, looking at the river down there, so enjoy the time lapse. First meal, chicken soup. Try it. Try the. Try it. You'll love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It smells really, really good. Mmm. Flavorful, so huh? It's similar to what we had last night. Lunch. Mm -hmm. Carne ahumada. Uh, okay, so this is Yasuni National Park. This is Rio Tipitini, yes. and we are like right here. And this is Rio Napo, and we're here. Okay, so when we were in Coca, that was the big Coca. river that went through Coca. Yeah, so and we came we from Coca, drove to here, probably. Uh, yeah, because yeah, this is the edge of the park, we probably drove yeah. to right there. And then got on a boat and came to the boat all the way to here. Oh wow, that makes me realize how big this park is. That's right. Yeah. It's very big. So the Rio Tiputini comes like this, and then like this, and then like this. And that's Peru. Mm -hmm. What is what is that? What does that mean? Zona intangible Tagari. Uh, the Tagaris, the, the wild tribe. Oh, okay. Oh, so is this? Where we are? Oh, yeah, yes. that's the... Yeah. So we, we landed in Quito mm -hmm. and then came all the way over to up here. Right <laughs> yeah. Parque wow. Nacional Yasuni. Sucumbe Snapo. What's the other... What's the other park? Oh, Cayambe or yeah. Cayambe, no. no uh, Cuyabana. Uh, Cuyabana. <laughs> Cuyabana is going to be on the oh, wow. northern side. Here. <clears throat> yes. Okay. How big is it? Mm, a little smaller than Yasuni. Wow. Look at your dessert, babe. Oh my goodness, my favorite. <laughs> Strawberries are my favorite. Want to do a review of it? Yes, I'd like to do a review of this strawberry dessert. We've had fresh everything. Mm hmm. Mmm. What's the sauce? Heaven? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Yo, we ate lunch, then we hung out for an hour, hour and a half, rinsed off in the cold shower, which was 10 out of 10, felt great. Now we're about to go on a little hike. It's maybe 3.15 here in the Amazon jungle, and we're about to go on a hike. Ready?
Is this a path Baraka. that you cleared? Baraka. Okay. Baraka. This one is a no? Yeah, it's not a no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have any question about the plant or anything? Yeah. Just as many as you want. Okay. <laughs> no, what is that? This is uh, <clears throat> termita. Termite. Termite. Oh, wow. Many, many. And it's their nest. In there, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Usually also the termites from the crown. Yeah. This one's also the, the, the okay. branches. Yeah. Wow. Cool. What do you see? There's a couple of butterflies under there. They're quite pretty. Oh, wow, yeah. They're, um... Wings are almost transparent where that's light. Can you see that? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It's amazing how much just like interesting, weird plants and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's truly a jungle. Right? Hey. How do you? Welcome to our meal. You feel like you're in the jungle? A little bit. <laughs> Kind of surreal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big blue butterflies. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. They're ginormous. They're huge. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that one is spider. Yeah. I could catch a mouse. Other country spider. Yeah. Is that? No. Is a single one in the small Yeah. One? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. one spider. So it's a, yeah. Wow. It's not a very big spider. Where? Do you see the spider? Yeah. Between those two leaves. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is natural seed. We call it Wairuri. Yeah. We we'll make the necklaces. Oh, pretty. It is a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It's a bead. It's a seed, but they use it for necklaces. Oh, cool. Yeah. got back from the boat ride. Yes. The boat ride was fun. Fantastical. We got to see red howler monkeys, toucans, stick bugs. There's like bats Turtles. flying around yeah. out here. Oh yeah, there's, uh, I asked earlier, there's fruit eating bats, insect eating bats, and fish eating bats. Really? There's definitely, I just, I've seen yeah. like three bats here. Yeah, I was kind of excited about the bats. And you see them? I like bats. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that's cool. We just got back. Dinner's at seven, and then I'm pretty much like ready for bed. I'm exhausted. Got our candle burning. I was just talking about how I'm excited for dinner. It's almost seven. We got dinner coming up, and we're both excited to sleep. I'm very excited to sleep. I've been sleepy for like two hours. We saw a syringe up there as we were walking by that we then commented by and then walked back two minutes later and it was gone so somebody here is doing heroin sugar and tangerine smelled something that smelled like marijuana earlier so this is something that I mentioned even when I was in the mountain tribal provinces of the Philippines but no matter where you go in the world humans are just humans humans are just humans everywhere 
Here, you can come sit over here with me. How cool is that? Good morning, lecture fans. Good morning. Good morning, lecture fans. <laughs> lecture fans. <laughs> it's like 8, 8.30. We had breakfast this morning. We slept like 10 or 11 hours last night. Went to bed at like 8. Woke up at 7. Tons of jungle sounds. We woke up to just like tons and tons of jungle sounds. Monkeys, owls, Monkeys, frogs. owls, frogs, everything. We were just remarking how our guide can like make all of the jungle sounds. He can talk to them. He can talk to them. They talk back. They talk back. <laughs> so, we're doing another hike today. Yep. Another boat ride. I love these boat rides. They're my favorite part too. Yeah, and then I loved last night after we were out exploring. Then we went on a boat ride and looked at birds. Then we came back and it felt like home. Didn't it feel good? <laughs> yeah. 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 Take a nice cold shower, get all that sweat off. Yeah. It's nice to relax on the boat after hiking in the jungle. Yeah. It's how you see different things from the water because the water provides sort of a cross section for us to see into the jungle. The jungle is very dense. Totally. You can only just see right around you. And if they didn't have trails, you would not really see anything except what was right in front of you. Right, yeah, totally. <laughs> So this right here is called the tortoise plant, and it's for diarrhea, upset stomach, boil the root. and you boil, you boil the root. It's called the tortoise plant in Quechua. We're out here in the Amazon jungle. We saw one of those little stick bugs, and it had like these miniature little like fungus, mushroom type things growing out of it, and like, you know, 20 or 30 of them. And, uh, is basically like this fungus growing and feeding and eating on this dead stick bug. It's really cool, really cool. Really, really cool. So it does look like a kite. It's really pretty. Yeah, This is one of the biggest trees in the jungle. It's not the biggest. They can get to be to seven, eight hundred years old. This one maybe is seventy or eighty. But the shamans come and spend the night near this tree, the biggest tree in the jungle, basically to get to know the jungle and stuff. So that's it. You know the ant eater? Yeah. You heard about the ant eater, the animal. <laughs> they put a tank first. Right. Suck it up. <laughs> okay, first? You? I'll go first. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for it. <laughs> oh, so I eat the ants? Yeah, open these things all and put your tongue. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm very serious. <laughs> all of these ants? Yeah. Okay. Suck them up. Oh my gosh. It's a new meaning of suck okay. it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, those taste like lemon. Okay. <laughs> you gotta eat them, babe. Okay, okay. <laughs> little ants are everywhere. Okay, open it. Oh yeah, there's little larvae too. Mm -hmm. Tastes like lemon, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, this tasty one. So the eggs could be better. Hmm? I think I ate the wood. It's good taste. <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. I never thought I would have done that before. <laughs> it's crazy because when you open it up, you just see hundreds of ants. <laughs> yeah, I saw like little larvae too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's good protein. And that's what you had to know in the jungle. Mm -hmm. What to yeah. eat? Exactly. But at the same time, very similar things. Yeah. They're the, they're uh, poison ones. Right. Or toxic. Right. But you have to recognize very well. Yeah. This is the edible thing. That, that way you can survive. Yeah. Mandari Panga. Uh, local people use yeah. for the for the roof. I was gonna ask, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very very the the most better in the leaf for the roof. This one. It's the best leaf. Better in the um, what is that uh, called the Lokata, another one. Another mm -hmm. one in the sun. It's better in the those. 
Mandari Panga means flat leaf in Quechua, which is what this is, which is where we're staying. It's called the Ungurawa. Ungurawa? Ungurawa, okay. we use to take the oil from this. That's when you use yeah. the oil from this. Yeah, it up. you gotta cook first. Yeah. You gotta mash it very well and cook again. That's the oil that's coming from there. What's the oil? I also for? use for the the uh, local girls for the for the hair. The hair, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's very very bright, right. shiny color. How's this edible? What's the name of it? Ungurawa. The local name for the astrocarium. Oh, drink the water. What the color that time? Oh, it's so good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it does taste like coconut. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Good. It's so refreshing. Yeah, it is. Look how much they like that. The macaws like to eat that kind of fruit. They do? Mm -hmm. It's very good. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Sounds good. It's not for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh, oh wow. Thank you. Surprise. Thank you. Mm. got back from uh, maybe like a three hour hike this morning. It's maybe 11 or 12. Um, I think I'm gonna go swimming in the Tiputini River, which is this bad boy right here. I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of really cool pictures and video of different things in the jungle, like ants and stuff like that. In O'Hare, our guide told me I could go swimming right here, so I think I'm going to. Tell YouTube how it is. I will tell YouTube. <laughs> it's really good. Nice. Yeah, pork, avocado. Americans are in love with avocados. Rice and beans. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got done eating and we're gonna go fishing at 3.30 so we have a couple hours to burn. We just got ourselves some water. Lunch was delicious, by the way. It was so delicious. What did you think of it? I love that lunch. It was a wonderful piece of pork that, um, I think it was barbecued. Mm -hmm. really nice flavor, really nice flavor. And then um, avocado, fresh avocado, tomato, rice. 
Just Tomato. Oh, beans. All beans, the food, rice and here. beans. The food here is so fresh and so delicious. I don't. It's like not processed it's at all. Not processed. It's fresh. There's not saturated fats. It's just all pure, good for your energy. My body feels good. Does it? Yeah. Me too. From eating all the good food. All the good food. We've not had any yeah. junk. Food. And exercising and. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm feeling really good. Is, I think that's part of the experience too. This is almost like a health spa. It really is, it is yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Glad you're enjoying. Yeah. Yes, I'm in love with Ecuador and. Me too. Mandar Pagani. Oh. Yeah, so am I. So we just was just saying that. Um, so this afternoon we're gonna go fishing. Then tomorrow morning we're gonna take a boat ride. And then tomorrow afternoon we're gonna go see a local indigenous family. And then the next day we're gonna go home. But I was just saying that I'm glad that we're not doing any more hiking because we've already gone on two kind of long hikes and that's plenty for me. As much as I like hiking, two long hikes in two days is good. It's 3.30, Sugar and Tangerines and I have just been chatting down by the Tiputini River. She was sitting in her hammock and I was sitting in the chair next to her. We just had a really good hour, two hour long conversation, caught up, it was really good. So now we're off to go fishing. It was really good talking to Sugar and Tangerines because we've been doing so much stuff and busy. We haven't really had a chance to just sit and talk, so it was really good. Off to the Tiputini River. This thing is much closer to the water. We just stopped here and we're about to fish right here. What kind is it? It's called the Satemo. Satemo? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the smallmouth fish uh, families. Cool. Mm -hmm. Very bony fish. Alright, so I just caught another one. This is a sardine. I got a piranha. I got a piranha. Wow. It's a white piranha. White piranha? Mm -hmm. Is it safe to hold? Yeah, but you gotta grab in the middle like this. Okay. Not that. That was so much fun fishing. I don't think I've had that much fun yet. That's probably my favorite thing. Catching those little fish was awesome. And then seeing the guide catch the piranha was really cool. So then we were, you know, cruising back on the Tiputini River with the piranha in the bottom of the wood canoe. Just cruising, sun's going down, wind on the face. It was awesome. And I'm thinking, wow, we just caught a piranha out of this water that I was swimming in couple hours ago but 10 out of 10 super fun oh yeah and now we're gonna get to eat the piranha tonight so I've never eaten piranha really looking forward to it <laughs> so that's the piranha mm -hmm. This is piranha septemo. Septemo? Yes. Nice. Piranha septemo sardine. Very nice. Looks good. Okay, lecture fans. About to eat. Lecture fans, catch of the day. <laughs> the catch of the day is piranha sardine. 
and something else. <laughs> so how do I do this? You can break a bit. Are you going to sample each of them? I guess so, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so this is the piranha. All right. Looks like they fried oh it up God. really nice for you. They're really good. <laughs> really good. Mm -hmm. What is Very it like? What's the taste like? Very mild. Yeah? Very mild. Like tilapia? Mm hmm Really? Very good. Very good. Mm. Very mild. Not, um, not, like, fishy. Very... Like, even less than trout. Mm hmm Very Way good. Less. Well, that's, that's exciting. Really All right. What's next? Okay. I guess I'll try this one next. Venturing on to the what's the name of this fish? Mmm. They made this fish so pretty. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> Also really, really good. Yeah? Good flavor? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah? Delicious. Mm. Okay, last one. This is a sardine. I'm curious to know. Mm. These ladies know how to cook fish. Okay, sardines. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's also really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like sardines in a can. Maybe while you fish, I'll have these ladies teach me to cook. <laughs> yeah, really. This is really good. I'd say my favorite. Yeah, I would say yeah. favorite is the one I Second is Septimo. Third is sardine. All right. And what's the other thing? Other stuff they call the plantain bananas, fried oh. plantain, and tomato. Yeah. Delicious. Pomodoro? Pomodoro? How do you say it? We call it patacones. Patacones. Yeah. No, the tomato. With a tomate. Tomate? Yeah. Very good. Yep. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Adventure man. It's 6 a.m. This is day three. Right? 6 a.m. day three. We're going to go on a morning boat ride. So we just learned that um, before they built this like camping area for tourists, somebody the fa like the family was living here, who we're gonna go visit later today, um, a bit further down the river. But they were living here, and like that big building up there, that was like one of their buildings they lived in, and they were living here. And then they moved and made this into a tourist campsite. 6 a.m. boat ride. 6.30 now, probably. Shooting me with words, but I will let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. He said the fish, see like the very flat things, you know, the ground? Yeah. There's gonna be the eggs there. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Let's see if it's true. <laughs> What's interesting? <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Okay, look. Oh wow! Yeah. So what kind of? So these are eggs for what? Uh, river turtle. River turtle. turtle yeah. Oh wow! Oh. Cool. Yeah. Now we got to send these uh, eggs to yeah. the uh, to the project. 
Yeah? yeah. You're going to? Yeah. Oh, wow. So that they can protect them? Exactly. Yeah. Mm. And then they had a big, uh, how do you call that? Incubator? Exactly. Yeah. And then they put all the eggs in there. Oh, and, and then they, they hatch? They hatch, yeah. Mm -hmm. When the tortoise has like the seven to eight months old, uh -huh. they send them back to the, to the river. river. Or so the if, if you left them here, they'd get eaten by something probably? or uh, Local people or warranis or big lizard. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mira las fundita, vamos a llevarla. They have a turtle farm. Le dije que vamos a enviar a un proyecto que que están por esto. Hay que amagarla. Let's see. How, what do you think? How many eggs? Oh, I don't know. Probably <laughs> five. More like. It could be around the twelve, fifteen, or to twenty. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes more. Ay, cuenten cuánto. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Espera, tengo rato. Okay, how many you say? Oh, I said 12, but... And yet you said 12, you? I say 13. Uh, you said only 5. I said 5, I said 5. <laughs> <laughs> you going for 5? I'll say 5. <laughs> You're already more than 5. <laughs> I know. Okay. No, there's a lot. There, 12, I, I bet there's 13. 13, 12, 13. There's probably... I can say maybe... There's probably... Maybe 17. Okay. Probably closer to 20. 23. 23. 25. Okay. Yeah, okay. dale. <laughs> what do they feel like? You can touch it. Oh my gosh, they feel so fragile. So this is laid by one turtle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Holy cow. I would have never have thought that they could have that many. I remember watching that video with the turtles laying their eggs and they lay a lot. That's crazy. I don't know how they lay then, so many. And then all the little bit. Of, yeah. And it's like kind of slimy and they just like... They keep coming out. Uh-huh. <laughs> like how big are these turtles? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah. Is that the broken one? Yeah, I think it's broken one. <laughs> Holy cow. That one's my one. Yeah, Seventeen. Nice. Oh, eight. No, no, that was two. Oh, that's not true. Oh, here they are. I wonder how old these are, or how long they've been here. How long do you think these eggs have been here? That's a new one. Last night. Last night? Yeah. Really? It's very fresh footprint here. Oh, wow, yeah, you can see the footprints. Mm -hmm. 22. Mm -hmm. Have all of the, have all of, all three nests been like last night? Los tres serían de anoche? Yeah. Wow, cool. Just got back from saving the turtles and now we're gonna eat breakfast. Sí, y nosotros estábamos acostumbrados a que siempre cuando venía toda la familia comíamos en el suelo. Yeah, when all the family they come all together visit the, the this place uh -huh. or the one the family here. Okay. They used to give the uh, like a lunch or yeah. breakfast yeah. Uh, like this. Like this. this. Antes, antes de, del proyecto nosotros conocíamos el festín de la casa, de la pesca, todo eso. Entonces poníamos ahí todo lo que era yuca verde. La yeah, before the projects, when the, the tourism project here, 
They used to eat uh, the food, like the fish, meat, uh, all kind of meat, you know. Mm -hmm. And at lunchtime, they put always on top of the meat. Okay. On the floor. Yeah. Uh, today, she went to share like the family. Yeah. Now, she con muchos productos de aquí. Many kind of uh, uh, vegetables from the area. Jugo de, de morete. Yeah, this was the, remember the tallest palm trees? Yes. That's yeah. the moriche palm tree. Yeah. The, the juice. The juice. The oh, the, the juice. coming from there. Ya le voy a traer la fruta igual. It's going to show you the fruits. Sí. Y tenemos un pescado del pintadillo, el padre. The soup is the catfish from this river. Caldo de pintadillo. The tiger uh, catfish. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. El segundo los mayo. Sí. El, el, el mismo... No, carne. tilapia, eso es tilapia. Ah, yeah. Tilapia. And the second, uh, this gonna be the, the maito, yeah? Sí, maito. We call the maito. Maito uh -huh. is gonna be covered with, uh, they cook in the fire with, uh, covered with leaf. Uh -huh. So yeah. inside they, they have the tilapia. Right. Yeah. And the leaf, the leaf gives the fish a nice flavor, right? Exactly. Yeah. That is, they put just the fish and salt in the set. Yeah. And yeah. The, the leaf give the, another flavor okay. to the meal. Very good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Buen provecho, okay. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Oh, wow. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this okay. is the this is the fish that Angeline, our tour agent, told us about, and it's a special kind of tilapia fish. They cook it in the leaf. The leaf gives it a nice flavor, and the only other seasoning is salt. So, typically you would eat just off of the palms as a plate, but they gave us plates because we're tourists. <laughs> So this looks like really yummy, flaky, delicious fish. It smells really good. Okay, try it. It has a nice smell. Tell us how it is. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, it's very soft and kind of rich and super mm. delicious, moist. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. This fruit right here is what this juice is coming from. Morete. Morete. <laughs> okay. She said uh, the chocolate they made here. The chocolate made here. With uh, strawberry. Yay. Oh wow. What's up? We just had the most delicious lunch and now we're hanging out. We get to go to a neighboring community and a lady is going to teach us about how they live and we get to make chocolate <laughs> yeah what do you think of that lunch i thought it was pretty groovy they have really good rags here they cooked a piece of fish in a plant and only used salt but it had a really nice flavor have you been enjoying the trip i've been enjoying this trip a lot i feel like we got a one semester course in the Amazon. <laughs> <Right>? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, we're off to see a local family. Banana, right? Yeah. Oh wow. And this one's the this one's the banana. Banana oh, yeah. exportation. Yeah. Cool. Oh, the plantain banana pla tree looks similar. Yeah. <laughs> the bananas are different. Yeah, this is plantain banana. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh yeah. Heart of palm. Yeah. You gotta mm. cut it here. Yeah. And take the new leaves inside. Yeah. It's very tasty. Yum. Thank you. How 
vorba de dans. So this is a very traditional roof. Yeah. Roof, you know, like this. Very nice. Usually they. So this time they make like a floor. Yeah. Like that. Right. But the normal is gonna be. Normally right on the ground. On the ground. Yeah. With a, a palm leaf. Palm. Yeah. yeah. Also the roof uh, coming way down until the ground. Oh, okay. All covered. To keep to keep out the. No, I'm not getting in. Wow. Some That's the medicine for the asthma. Some grandmas offer candy. <laughs> Some grandmas offer larvae. <laughs> Are you gonna eat one? No. I like it. I like it. Django bacon. That's right. <laughs> wow, amazing. Uh -huh. May I hold it? Yeah, sure. You can grab it. Okay. And these are good for asthma. So next time Gigi doesn't want to take her asthma medicine, I say, you can have these oh, baby, larvae. I'm not going to eat one. I don't have asthma. <laughs> amazing, amazing. They are amazing. That is, I cannot eat one. I can't do that kind of thing either. Yeah, you gotta kill first. Oh, okay. Right? You gotta, you gotta take out the little thing right? inside. Yeah. Right? The stripes. Uh, is that like their intestines? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you eat the inside. It's kind of like the like, like oil. Yeah. Very fatty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Bravo. Wow. <laughs> wow. But the jaguar heart. The jungle heart, that's yeah. right. You have the jungle heart. <laughs> this is the edible here. Yeah. So this is but what the But one? she ate the whole thing. Yeah, she it's okay, any. Yeah. So she's totally she's jungle. Yeah. Exactly. Grandma. Yep. Okay, let me explain about this drink. I was talking about the chicha, right? The yeah. mm -hmm. yuca. Yeah. Yeah, this is the yuca. So the water is very clean. That you so, drink every day. Yeah. Yes. So this is manioc with mix with a uh, sweet potato. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you want to try a little bit. Sure. It's not just a simple thing. Okay. But I don't know if it's fermented or I didn't try it. Oh, it might be fermented. I'll try it yeah. and see if it is. And if it's not, David, right. can drink it. He doesn't drink fermented beverages. <laughs> yeah, it's fermented. Is it? Yeah, it's very good. So is there's alcohol in there? Uh, no, 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 no alcohol. Okay, it's I'll try. It's fermented though. You I'll try it. Sweet potato. Mm. It's refreshing, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need it. That's good. You don't want to earn your jungle heart stripe? We eat the larvae? I'm good. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. She's carrying there when the people it doesn't exist and nobody here. She, she was the first, first person. Really? Yeah, who is the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that time was the, 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 the dangerous people, yeah. they used to live that side of the river, right. and she was like a very a strong woman, <laughs> trying to stay yeah, 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 but before she had to defend herself against other people. Yeah. And then the like a family and then the rest of that people, you know. Right. Meeting me by How did she come to be here by herself? She used to live in, in Coca around the Coca. Yeah. In, in another 
community. Right. Because the community is just too too many people. Yeah. Because she she has the, around the ten kids. She has ten children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then was no any lands that side. Mm -hmm. But usually she's from the Sarai Kumanjanga. Canelo, Canelo, where they are, Southeast Ecuador. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the idea where, where uh, she came to find this place. Wow. With her children and her uh, with her husband. husband. Her husband. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the, <laughs> do I eat the whole thing of this? Michael made this for you. Carlo serving it. You can get half, one half jungle heart. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Valiente se come. Hombre valiente. They're actually pretty good. They're Are they? actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Like, because uh, they're full of, like, fat. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> kebab. Jungle kebab. <laughs> 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 that one got henpecked. See how that one's missing feathers? Mm -hmm. It's the weakest one, so it's getting henpecked. They have a rooster too. But um, chickens will do that to weaker ones. They'll peck them and take their feathers. They pick on each other. Is this, is this a wild one or a pet this one? A, a, a wild. A pet? Oh, it's a pet. I'm pretending it's wild. It's called the orange winged uh, oh, yeah, parrot, but I told Stop her it's name. not orange. <laughs> I'm giving it a new name. Anyway, he was not so sure about me at first. Really? That's yeah. cool. He's really he's really studying me because I'm different. But he is my friend. That's cool. Very cool. He's a native parrot. <laughs> So they just toasted it, mm -hmm. a whole bunch, and then um, they're like peeling it. Pretty cool, huh? Didn't American people eat these and think they were bad? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> So it is kind of similar, like, with coffee beans, because you yeah. have to toast coffee beans. I'll use the grinder to make powder. Is that what you're going to do? Mm -hmm. So you're going to turn it into a powder. Before you can, then what, mix water? Yeah, sugar. This would be like just cocoa powder. Oh yeah, wow. Look at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's strong, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm, very good. It's probably full of good stuff. You know, like chocolate. the good part of chocolate, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Not offset by mm -mm. loads of sugar and mm -hmm. other junk. But this one is, so, so the Harani made the can flat one? Can you tell one? me why the spear and the dart guns are so big? Like, how, why are they so uh, long? How is it this large? Yeah. Because when the birds or animals go in very top of the tree, right? this is for more distance. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what they made. That, that's the real one for, yeah. for, for hunting. Right. So this part is going to be very big. 
-hmm. because sometimes you run in the jungle, mm -hmm. sometimes you touch this one, you know, you run in. Uh -huh. Because we're very strong, this part. Oh, yeah. Or, or sometimes they put them, the animal bones here. Uh -huh. Okay. Huh. It's very strong. So, how is that the materials coming from that palm trees? You know, the walking palm tree? Yeah. That species. Okay. From there. Well, how they made is this one, it's divided in two pieces, you know? Mm -hmm. They divide it and they tie it together. Okay. So inside they made a little hole, mm -hmm. both sides, and then they tie it. Okay. So what happened, these things, it's coming from the, you know the wax? And the bees? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This is going to be, they put it around. Oh, okay, here. yeah. Wait, so what's the, what's the main part made out of, or how do they get a hole through it, and that kind of thing? When they divide the piece, they made it all around, they use the kind of, uh, like the sandpaper, mm -hmm. mm. you know, and they, when they tie, I don't know, they use a knife also, they made a little hole inside it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Polish, mm -hmm. very fine inside, and then they tie it. So this one, they coming from the fiber, mm -hmm. wood fiber. Right. So what kind of what, what what kind of wood is it made out of? Did you say? Yeah, from the walking palm trees. Walking palm yeah. trees. Oh, really? It's very strong, the heavy material. <laughs> wow. This one. This is the real ones as well. Okay. What are uh, they made out of? Remember the inayo? Yeah. I tell you in the, in the jungle, inayo yeah. is a very fine. Yeah, you showed us. Material for the darts. Right. Oh yeah. We saw the frogs or the poison that binds. Yeah. <clears throat> the poison has to be one inch here. Uh huh. And then they also, the, tienen las dientecitos de piraña? Mm -hmm. No, they don't have the piranha teeth. Mm -hmm. Also, they used to the piranha teeth too? Piranha teeth for what? Uh -huh. Yeah, the poison is going this size, they cut it a little bit around. Yeah. The time when you shot an animal, uh -huh. you know the shaking, the animal shaking, yeah. the time it is breaking. Oh, yeah. 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 The poison is, you know. Stays in. Yeah. Going all around the body. So this is that you have to carry. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Many, many, maybe. 50 or 60 darts you put it inside. Okay. This is, oh, so this is, this is your cotton, your darts, and this is your poison? And the poisons are coming in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do they Where do they get the, the cotton from? For the the K-pop trees. K-pop tree. K-pop fruit. Okay. K-pop mm -hmm. fruit. Wow. They're similar like the, the big K-pop. So if you were hunting in the jungle, you would have this, these three things yes. and your Dart gun, and right. what else would you take in the jungle with you if you were going hunting? Uh, maybe a little knife also. Okay. Together. Off we go. <laughs> I used the wrong one. Oh, yeah. Very wrong one. Oh, the round, yeah, not, this one's kind of oblong. This one be a little different for me as so, well. Uh, oblong. Let's, let's see. Let's say that's the, the fruit, the papaya fruit. Okay, okay. It's yeah. It's going to be the bird. Okay. Right? Okay. So, how you can. Hang it, this one's a little. Heavy for yeah. me, but uh, you gotta point it first. Okay. You gotta take the air like that. All the air has to be inside. Uh -huh. When you when you ready ready to point the fruit, mm -hmm. could be the end of the blow gun. You gotta say put it on top of the fruit. Right. And that way when you blow it, slowly gonna be a little lower. Uh huh. Okay, let's try. It. Oh! <laughs> nice! Yeah. You got it! <laughs> nice! Okay. The, gonna try now. okay. <clears throat> the first one, this is just for practice. Okay. Okay. Practice. Yes. The second one is going to be the way. Use the force. Oh, too low! Too low! Okay, that was my practice. Right. <laughs> That's not bad for a first time. Yeah, okay, this is for real. For real one. For real. You gotta feel very angry. Ooh. Oh, almost too Did low again. Too low? But are you getting close? I got closer. Yeah, I didn't. You do have to aim high. You have to aim high? Like the Air Force? <laughs> See, yeah, you have to aim high. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was your practice. That was my practice. Okay. Go for the rear. Hang on for the rear. 
Ooh, Ooh close. <laughs> close. Cause it will ricochet. I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright. Like a ricochet. It will come back to you. Let me tell you. Not because my eyes. Try your skin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. What is that? Yeah. Okay, we just got done from visiting Santa Maria. And now we're fishing again. So fishing. made it back. That's the end of our Amazon jungle expedition. I embraced every moment of it. Yeah, you did. You did good. I loved it. Did you? I did. Cool. Now we have another... That was that was probably like a two-hour boat ride back, huh? Yeah, it's supposed to be about an hour and a half. Now we've got a couple hours in the car. Get back to Coca. Alright, it's about 12.30. We're here at the Coca bus terminal. Um, took us a couple hours on the boat this morning and then a couple hours in a car and we're here at the Coca bus terminal. Um, we're hungry, we're thirsty, we're going to get all that taken care of and then we're going to hop a bus to Tana and then to get a different bus from Tana to Banos and that's the plan. We just made it onto the bus at Coca and this bus goes to Tana and then Puyo. So we're going to Tena. All right, we're on the road to Tena. From Coca to Tena, we just we left uh, Laredo maybe 20 minutes ago. This is a newer road, and we're just going through these small little Ecuadorian communities and villages. We're still in the Oriente. I think we're almost to Tana. Got some cool clouds and forested mountains. Alright, we made it to Tana. This is Tana. 